G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This video is going to be about walking from the Ducanali shelter to the Possum Springs shelter. I'm doing this now whilst I'm still at the Ducanali uh, shelter because I'm hoping to leave early in the morning because the temperatures are supposed to be about 33-34 degrees centigrade and I want to be at the next shelter before it gets that hot. Another thing about the track tomorrow is you go from map 2 to map 3. This is where when you get to the Harvey Quindanning Road that one finishes and that one takes over. So the distances to the Harvey Quindanning Road this is the one from the shelter here is 11.3 kilometers and then from uh, the Harvey Quindanning Road let's get this one that's the wrong side this side I want So from the Harvey Queen Danning Road to the Possum Springs, it is, where are we? 3.4 to Bell Brook and then a further 4.6 to the Possum Springs campsite. So that's a total of eight from the Harvey Queen Danning Road. So I'm hoping to be up early by about four o'clock and on my way by 4.30 just as it starts to get light and I just want to knuckle down and get that done and hopefully I won't miss, miss any of the wargles and end up heading off four or five kilometers extra on top. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, 4 a.m. and I'm on my way and it's pitch black. The stars are beautiful. One advantage of walking at night with your head torch on, the woggles, when your torch light hits them, they glow. Makes them a lot easier to see in the distance too. You can see when they're coming up. bit wobbly. This is a bridge that replaced the wooden one that got burnt in the fires a couple of years ago. I was really looking forward to crossing that one but unfortunately I never got the chance. Two hours now, and it's just been beautiful. I've had a, some of the ups and downs, but most of the track, as you can see behind me there, has been on a four-wheel drive track. 
I just walked past a camp back there, it says Camp 4, so I can't see where it is, but it's no doubt a four wheel drive campsite. But it's still nice and cool at the moment, and I think I'm doing pretty well for time. I want to be at the shelter by midday, and if we can get there before, that'll be a bonus. Listening to all the wildlife waking up this morning has been walking, has been fantastic. Seen the odd kangaroo. Uh, yeah, a good start to the day. my way back here to the Harvey Quinn Dunning Road and there's a signal only just but there's a signal here so I was able to arrange for somebody to drive down and pick me up so I've got myself comfortable here I've got my Z pad under my ass and I'm laying back on my pack to do my best to stay comfortable so I'll cover this video on shortly when I get back out. Two months later, it's been dropped back off on the Harvey Quindanin Road. So, let's carry on. Tell my pack's changed. My normal one I carry. I don't have a rain cover for it yet. And with the temperatures being colder, I have brought out uh, extra bedding sort of thing, or larger, a couple of top down, uh, top quilt, bottom quilt for the hammock. Uh, yeah, you'll probably see it in a later video. So that would have all been on the outside, and it's forecast rain over the next four days. So I didn't want a chance of getting any of that wet and damaged, because as most people know, if you get down wet, it doesn't keep you warm. So, hence the larger pack, so everything can fit in, and it's got a rain cover that fits over it got to the point where my knee went that's the views behind how beautiful so I'll make it easier on my knees I brought my walking poles with me this time I'm only using one at the moment because I'm doing the, ca uh, the camera the filming but I've got my second one on my pack for when needed it's already, I can feel the difference in using this, taking the pressure off my knees. Uh, let's carry on and go underneath this uh, travel aid, I think. You can hear it from here, it's getting louder and louder. So let's hope the wind's blowing in the opposite direction to me tonight, so I'm not listening to that all night.
earlier I said travelator, I meant conveyor belt. And as you can hear, it's a bit noisy. The other side, the south side of the conveyor belt, and if you were after checking in to let everybody know at home that you're safe, getting near the top of this hill, you get phone signal. So I don't know how long it lasts, but I only found out by chance then. My mum called me, see if I'd phoned her. <laughs> it wasn't me or someone else, but, but then I checked in with my wife, let her know all safe and all's good. Another thing I've noticed today about using my walking poles is going down the still steep hills not only does it help take the pressure off your knees, your hips and makes it easier getting down, makes you more stable I've noticed I'm not crunching my toes up like this as much and when I haven't used walking poles just thinking about it my big toe gets a blister from gripping on all the time as I'm going down as if it's trying to grip the ground as I go but since using the walking poles or thinking about it today I actually noticed that I wasn't scrunching my toes up or gripping and there's no hot spots on my big toes a lot more comfortable so there's another advantage of using the walking poles for me it's helping to stop me get blisters Look at the view as you're coming down here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Looking back on it, my knee went. I did the right thing, going back and being picked up. Because what I've walked so far today, I don't think my knee would have uh, coped with it. Safety wise, if I had a carried on and it didn't cope with it, I weren't sure if it was going to be somebody the same day, the next day or the day after. 
I do carry my spot eat perp, so I would have suppressed that if I had off, but there was no need for it. If you don't have an e perp, you don't have the luxury of taking a chance. But even having the e perp, I don't think it was worth taking a chance because I felt my knee even using a walking pole. I actually felt both knees struggle a little bit, but the actual one that went, I felt it where it, the pain was when it did actually go. So using a walking pole was great. And going back to be picked up was the right thing for me to do. So keep that in mind. If you don't have an EPIRB, it may be a day, it may only be an hour, and it may be two or three days before anybody actually gets to you. So, think about it. Put your safety first. You can always come back like I have and carry on and do the rest. Uh, this is the second time I've had to do that. The first time was when I got picked up by the chopper with dehydration. So, yeah, safety first. Like I say, you can always come back and do it again or complete where you were. kilometre to go and the wind is picking up it's getting colder and we have some fairly dark clouds coming over too uh, it hasn't been as sunny today today but yeah these are I feel like they may have a little bit of water in them Possum Springs. Now, because I had to do this in two parts, I'm going to have to tell you by memory. The first part is with my fourth day out. I was going really well. Legs were going well. 
really lovely because I set off uh, early in the morning when it was still dark, which most you know I really enjoy doing that. And then the actual walk along the way was good. The signs just before Harvey Quinn Dunning Road were a little bit hit and miss, but made it. I went back a couple of times to find the signs. And the knee went, as you know, but coming back out today using a pole. Tomorrow I'll be using the two poles. It's made a big difference and this section not too bad, a couple of hills up and down. The worst one was straight up to the um yeah the travel aid I think. But after that they had a few up and down but nothing serious. Met some lovely people on the way. They'd actually stopped here for a the night, they said there was quite a few people in this one with them. But yeah, I've enjoyed it. Because of having such a long break and only been able to get out two or three times a week to do any five kilometre walks, 10, 14 ones, I did feel it a bit, especially carrying the pack I'm not used to, which I'm, I'm going to have to adjust this whilst awesome I'm sat here today. But yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this instalment of the Bibbulmun track. And if you have, please go down below, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell, click on all, and share with all your mates. And if you are already a subscriber and done all that, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.